So today's project is to upgrade the hardware on the 1621 Plus by installing these two 400 gig M.2 NVMe drives along with this 10 gig adapter, the RJ45 model. I just want to thank Synology for sending this hardware upgrade out to me along with sending the 1621 Plus. Now all that said, let's get started with the upgrade process. So to get started with the NVMe drive installation, I already took out the hard drives as you can see here and I have the 1621 Plus laying on its side. So according to Synology, this is slot one and this is slot two. You can see the pin ports on the bottom and then just the locking latches on the top. So the object is to line up the notch in the bottom of the SSD drive with the port. So I'm gonna get the first one physically installed for you and then switch back to this view because if I keep it on this view, you're basically just gonna see the back of my hand. And now you can notice that with the Synology, the labeling is facing down. So now all I have to do, now that it's inside the port, just basically press it down and lock it into place. Just like that. And we're gonna do the same thing with the second drive. Let me switch back to the other view. Okay, it was that simple to get the NVMe drives installed. Now we can just go ahead and remove the cover and install the 10 gig card. If you like this type of content, please go ahead and smash that like button. It just helps get the video out in front of more viewers. Now, back to the installation. Installing the 10 gig adapter card is fairly simple. We have to remove the top cover and there are six screws holding the cover on. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we'll take those screws out first. Now that we have all the screws out, let's go ahead and remove the cover. The next step is to remove this one screw here holding on the slot cover. So let's get that removed. We're just gonna take the 10 gig adapter card and line it up. And then once we have it lined up, we're just gonna make sure we seat it properly. And we hear it click in just like that. And we're gonna just go ahead and reverse the process and we're gonna put on the screw to hold the adapter card in place. Just like that. And then we'll go ahead and we'll reinstall the cover and put on the six screws. So there you go, you see how simple it was to upgrade the hardware on the 1621 Plus. I'll put all the links to the parts that I used in this video down below in the description, along with a link to a Synology 1621 hardware update guide. All the steps you saw me do in this video today are outlined in that document. The memory hasn't arrived yet, so in the next video we'll be doing the memory upgrade, then booting up the device just to check out and make sure everything is working properly. So if you like this type of video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Be sure to check out some of the other videos that I have listed here up above. Please remember to subscribe, like, and share this video. And I want to thank you as I do in every video for using the Amazon affiliate links. I know they don't change your price, but they do help out the channel. My name is Tony with Quick Tech Solutions. As always, please stay safe. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time. And as always, I'd like to thank our Patreon supporters. And if you would like to help support the channel, there's links to the Patreon page and PayPal down in the video description.